four corner crossovers, one, two, three, stop. Just a great, great drill. First of all, it activates the mind. It gets you thinking rhythm and discipline. And then when you give the student a puck, oh, super, it gets the hands and the feet and the body all on the same page. Watch. On your toes, my foot, fill your skate. But it's one, two, three, stop. Foot, foot. One, two, three, stop. Watch that foot there. Right. Step over, little step. Step over, little step. Piece of cake, you take a little step. All three, right. little step. Little step. Piece of cake. Got it? The tough part about this drill is not little steps, but keeping your feet, your toes, pointed at the end boards through all three crossovers, plus always keeping your shoulders square to the end boards. It is not backward skating crossovers. You operate from the middle of the blade. You're balanced, not, not up in the toes. We have four teaching areas with teachers at every lane. Can't help but learn. These students are taking big steps way too fast. Most end up with a skate heel pointed at the boards. You gotta tell your feet what to do. You're wrong. What is this stuff? You're bouncing up and down like a heron on a griddle. Way too fast. Go slow. school we do the at drill three or four minutes a day for seven days that's what 28 minutes in less time than that we took a young seven-year-old girl who couldn't do a single crossover a single crossover and watch in a week hey, she did one two three stop just right drills like this give my teachers a chance to pick up the slow learner and go eyeball to eyeball with them so slide it up and around out and around, out and around. Piece of cake. Slide it out and around. Try it that way, it works better. Let's go. The key to balance, agility, and power is posture. Watch Mike, Chris, and Andy work on seven-year-old Jordan. That's it. Big one now. Right on the blue line. Stand on the blue line. That's it. Now just walk like this. Nice and slow. That's it. Don't step up. That's it. That's it. Okay, down to one knee. This is Chris with Jordan. There you go. Keep that head up. There you go. Good job. Way to keep your feet short. That's awesome. Where are you going? Andy, Jordan, get your feet together. Together. Head up. Head up. That's it. Feet together. Now let's go the other way. Head up. Head up. Jordan, stop. Stop. Come here. Stand tall. Stand tall. That's it. Now bend your knees. Not like this. Stand tall. Come on now. Now that's it. Now bend your knees. Super. Now push with the toe and go backwards. Go back. That's it. Push with the toe. Head back. Head back. Bring your feet together. Make them touch. Make them touch. That's it. Super again. Here's Andy with Jordan a couple of days later. And watch this, folks. That's Jordan. Did the system and the teachers do a great job? Super again. Ha! Got a girl. Backwards clockwise. In a normal hockey school, we just do this to break the routine. But 
Okay. It gives our teachers all kinds of opportunity to pick up the slow learner, handling the puck and then skating, go one on one with them and make them better. In most of the balance drills through center ice, we move counterclockwise. Then for a few minutes, we go the other way, doing crossovers, get the bounce, carry the puck in front of you, not drag it along beside you. In crossovers through center ice, Cerise finally gets it right. And when the student masters the crossovers, doing one, two, three, stop with a little bounce, then is asked to do it with the puck, the mind forgets the feet and concentrates on the puck. This is Marissa. Who can do a one, two, three stop beautifully without the puck, but here all her mind is on the puck, not her feet. We can fix that though, guaranteed. Are you supposed to be going one, two, three stop in here? Are we? Yeah. Okay. You're supposed to. Okay. All you're doing now is coming through here, wiggling your rear end. So just when you come through here, one, two, three, stop. Watch, see? One, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop. Two hands on the stick. Trouble now. She's thinking about her feet and can't carry the puck. Look at this. Nine students without a puck. That turns my hair gray. for the puck. Not gonna get any better with a puck. It's a board doing it. The green dot says you can go around that corner across the lake with a bounce. Okay, with a little jump, a little hop. Well, don't with a puck. You got a green dot. Don't get caught without a puck. If I catch you without a puck, meet me to that door. Because if you don't, you're a deep tuck on. Backwards clockwise. Puck handling. Well, puck handling is feel and grip and getting to know your stick. And when you're able to handle a puck, life's a piece of cake. Now, when you can skate extremely well and handle a puck very well, then learning how to play the game of hockey is a piece of cake. Attaboy, Gavin. Kevin with Gavin, puck. backwards around the end zone. Notice his grip. The white strip Not just below his bottom hand to keep the grip right. Notice how he rolls the wrist. The puck mainly stays center blade. Gavin couldn't do one, two, three stop yesterday worth the pinch of coon stuff. Gavin, just do it up without without a puck up that way. Turn around. Oh, I'll turn around that way. That's it. Not one, two, three, one. Job, kid. There you go, kid. Well done. Okay, try it again. Tessa with Kevin. Watch the bottom hand wander. Above and below our white now tape. The feet aren't tight. doing crossovers, but Kevin's working tight. on putt control. When he gets it, ha, both of them will put it together. That's it. This is Craig, one on one with Darren, who has problems. He's bent over, hands too far apart, and has forgotten all about crossovers. So let's work on grip, roll the wrist, and balance. This 12 year old is a great teacher. Watch this. Javelin throw. Broke the world record. You know who that was? Taylor. Here he is again. Pirouette. <laughs> Does it better than anyone in the business. Well, Taylor wants to go three for three. Watch him. Fall over the red line. <laughs> we do the one foot slide and turn. We teach it in four ways. First the two foot slide, then the one foot slide and arch to heel, then the one foot slide, arch to heel, and make front leg up and, and you make the turn. Now, what this does, it gives our teachers all kinds of time to go one on one with a slow learner. And when they learn this drill, they're getting very close to being very good skaters. 
Center right, stride, glide, get your feet underneath you, just turn your hips. Everybody just stand up. Come and help them, guys. Okay, now just turn your hips like this. Feet right, feet are underneath you. Feet right, please. Most of the teenagers seem to have conquered the two-foot slide, so let's move on. Step is, okay, right to the heel. Okay, back to the heel. Good boy, girl. And that's the arc. Walk, get one foot, arc to the heel, you make a T. And sit back, slide. Slide, slide, arc to the heel. Slide. This is a one foot slide turn. The best maneuver that you can make playing the game of hockey when you're caught on the plate. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's where we're going. Next step is slide, slide, slide. Cerise makes the tee, but doesn't get the front foot out of the way so the body can make the turn. But she works and works and works at it until it's a piece of cake. Muscle memory. We'll have her doing that with a puck in a day or so. Get that front foot up higher. There's Andy with Willie. You stand, arch the heel, push off, get the arch to the heel, sit back and slide. Watch Andy do it. All right, come on, Willie, push off. That's it, arch the heel, arch the team, make a T and I'll slide. Great work. We're still with a one foot slide and turn, and I think it takes the student longer to learn that drill than any other. Normally when they conquer a drill, then we give them a puck. And what happens then, all their attention is on the puck and their feet don't do the job. But in this case, as soon as the student can do the one foot slide and turn, we give them a puck. Feet work. Hands work. Super. In the one foot slide, you don't turn your foot on the ice. Just sort of squeeze your toe and you drift and then you back up. That's when the turn is made. This whole series is about teacher and student going one-on-one. -on -one. The teacher's job is to get his attention and then get to the student's mind. Watch Mike. Doesn't turn the sliding foot. Drifts back. Lowers the leg off the ice and the turn is complete. Now folks, forget Mike and look around. He has total control of almost all the students and staff. He's got their minds, their attention. That's teaching skills and learning at its very best. Without feelings, you can't do that. Very well done, Mike. Two days later, Cerise had mastered the turn, so we gave her a puck. Look at this. Beautiful puck control, beautiful balance, and body control. Piece of cake. Woody with Stephanie. Good turn. Give her a puck. Woody, give her a puck. That's it. Here she comes. Watch this. So far. Now we got something for you. Keep your head up, <laughs> Taylor. Taylor, you got to keep your head up. You ran into her. I seen that one. Get up. Let's go. Stop it there and back it up. Got to see that again. Watch this hit. Beautiful. Taylor, get up and fall down right. <laughs>